Hello everyone, I have with me Grandmaster Praveen Tipse here at the FIDE Women's Grand Prix happening in New Delhi. Hello sir, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Yes, excellent. So you, you are the third Grandmaster of India and you have been playing chess for a long time and... Uh, 50... Two years now. <laughs> 52 years, that's been a great journey. But I uh, just want to ask you about the women's chess was not very, uh, you know, strong at that point of time. But now, you know, happening in India for the first time, women's Grand Prix. Uh, what do you think has changed over the time? Well, the overall, see, for example, uh, Asian Women's Championship started, the Indians won the first editions. And Commonwealth, British Championship, Indian players have won. Bhagesri herself has won Commonwealth twice and British and Asian. So, not that the... Um, but the, yes, there are suddenly there, there used to be a difference in the men's and women's uh, chess at time and that reduced uh, for last 20 years. I think after the uh, stunning results of uh, Judith Polgar, the Hampi and Hui Fan, who really uh, went to the level of the top most players uh, in the men's section also. So these three, because of this uh, success of these three players, I think women probably started thinking, uh, setting higher goals than what, and that is the where it ma uh, mattered. In India, I think it was uh, Vijaya Lakshmi who set goals higher than others, and that's why, although she didn't become a uh, grandmaster, a men's grandmaster, she made three norms. So, you know, somewhere you need one or two people who set higher goals, and then we really, the pioneers, as we say, so mm -hmm. then it uh, improves. So, you have been a successful chess player, chess coach, and now you are a commentator, and uh, uh, how do you feel about that and can you share your experience so far? Well, I think commenting is not a, a very difficult task in the sense I have covered for uh, covered several world championships for uh, over uh, 15 newspapers and uh, 5 or 6 TV channels and apart from that I wrote a column for Times of India for 20 years. So on PTI, UN, I have covered for boss. So I think covering is not a problem. Doordarshan, I have covered also. So, you know, you speak instance, instantaneously at that time. But yeah, the different in the sense here, you have to speak for about four to five hours, where there's only 10, 15 minutes, 45 minutes at the most interview. So a bit tough. And uh, the game is obviously the slow game. We have to take into account that football or uh, such games don't need commentary. Any lawn tennis or football don't need any commentary. You just watch the game. Here is not the case of who is no action for 10 minutes, 15 minutes and you really have to reason out and you have to speak uh, out the variations which come to you so very difficult moves we do make sometimes mistakes and also i think it's a time we utilize to guide uh, the youngsters our main idea is to get to non-chess players because non the chess players are anyway going to get the moves and see them if not now but uh, those who come online i think they should we should create a sustained interest among them so that they play more official and it's very interesting to do that a good experience but uh, tough in the sense the games are slow and uh, uh, in the world championship it would be even worse because only one game so you don't really have to so find a lot of study is required you have to go through the games and i daily prepare a chart of what how many games they have played what the success what openings in order to do that so i think apart from this five hours i think this is a hard work for about two three hours so the entire day goes in that so in this tournament harika hampi and vaishali are playing who are one of the best players in india of course in the world uh, what do you say about their performance and you know play competing for uh, the top position in the table uh, I think they haven't really uh, played up to the expectation, I must say, that uh, they haven't played particularly badly, but uh, Vaishal is the uh, lowest seed, so perhaps uh, she wasn't expected to uh, do great, but Humpy being the top seed, we did expect, but yes, they have not been in the uh, proper form, all of them, it can be seen, and uh, some of the some things have not clicked them, I don't know why, but uh, yes, sometimes all of them playing... Uh, not at their best is uh, important because uh, of that uh, specific uh, you know class that Humpy developed over 25 years so I think Humpy is still in bad form she's able to still able to do something and perhaps if she had won today it could have been good if she wins uh, tomorrow I think she'll still finish it with a score for Vaishali I think it's uh, new for her to play uh, against opponents which are I mean all of them are higher rated than her I don't think she has ever played a tournament where she has lowest seed and it's not a very encouraging experience because you know you yourself uh, subconsciously treat yourself as a uh, underdog somewhere because I, so it's not, it's a tough uh, tournament when you are the lowest rated player. Fide Women's Grand Prix happened for the first time in India. What do you think is the significance of such event and how do you think it's going to impact the chess in general in India? Uh, well, I think uh, it's it's a good learning experience in the sense that the uh, 12 best players from the world. Uh, 
uh, come here because the Grand Prix itself is uh, 16 players qualifying. One champion is also eligible to play in Grand Prix and they are playing, playing for the next World Championship. So one of them could be the uh, next year's uh, challenger in the World Championship. So it's uh, the greatest players have come. Perhaps I think uh, uh, the media has not taken uh, as much cognizance as it should have taken. And that's one of the things I think perhaps uh, we could have made better use of this like having some women's tournaments side by side somewhere or some uh, commentary outside where only women players would be allowed and the top women players could be called also to watch top players from Delhi. Something which required a much uh, better better effect uh, effort could have been done. Again, probably there must have been some restraints because not much time was given and probably budgets are limited. But yes, if in future, if you are going to do it after one say one year then we could uh, organize some simultaneous things there and it could be uh, at the at the thing stand we are not really uh, had an impact in the indian community of this tournament which is i think some somewhere because there's a problem with exclusive tournaments that it doesn't go to masses because masses cannot play if you at, like a delhi open with 1200 players there could be uh, one lakh players or two lakh players watching that which may not be happening here so World Championship is going to start from five days from now. And uh, could you tell us your predictions and thought about that event as well? Well, I never looked at it as World Championship. Actually, after uh, Magnus decided not to play, you know, it's not very... Uh, I mean, nobody is really enthusiastic about that. I wouldn't uh, want to say anything about the players. But somehow the last match, the Nepomniachi and Carlson, it uh, showed such a great difference in strength. And that even the rating, so it becomes, I mean, don't know, it's that it, the match would be interesting, but to call the player world champion is somehow uh, the chess world is reluctant to accept that. Not like when uh, Fisher didn't play with Karpov, only one or two percent people refused to accept him as the best player. And in a year or so, when he started winning all the tournaments, it happened. Here, I'm sure that whoever becomes world champion, he's not going to be considered a much better head and shoulders above the others. So it's also a match which will. Uh, uh, be different, but I think both the players have their own uh, uh, advantages. And at the moment, it's not uh, nobody is uh, sort of fancied. If Carlson was playing, one would say that Carlson is likely to win. Now it's not very clear, I think. Yeah, so hoping for the best, and thank you so much for your time and uh, all the best. Yeah, thank you so much.